Today, two local high schools look to push into the next round of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Who will go to the semifinals? Will it be Merrillville or Andrean? It's a battle of Broadway's quarterfinal edition of Making the Grade, and it comes your way next. Program support comes from NIPSCO. Honey, who is this guy? Oh, that's Frank. Hey, Frank. <laughs> Honey, why is Frank in our bedroom? He's showing us ways to save money. Plus, he'll even help us install LED bulbs and new shower heads. Oh, well, he is leaving before I shower, though, right? To schedule an energy assessment and learn more about energy usage, visit NIPSCO.com. Frank, could you hand me a towel? Lakeshore Public Media and Making the Great are supported by Chick-fil-A, proudly serving our Northwest Indiana community, helping to support education and developing young minds. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, located in Merrillville, in front of the South Lake Mall. It's season number seven of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Hi, I'm Andy Schultz, and today eight of the best and brightest students in all of Northwest Indiana come together to push their team into the semifinal round of our tournament. The winner of the tournament receiving the Making the Grade championship trophy, as well as scholarship money provided by NIPSCO. It's a very special edition of it, a quarterfinal edition featuring two schools that know each other pretty well. Who will move on? Will it be Merrillville? Or other residents of Merrillville, Andrean? We will find out very shortly. And we'll have a chance to meet our contestants in a few moments, but we're going to get this game started right away with our first round that we call Questions and Answers. Pretty simple. I give the questions, you give the answers. Five points for a correct response. No loss for an incorrect response. There's no penalty. We'll just give the other team a chance at those five points. Buzz in if you know the correct answer. Hands on buzzers. And this quarterfinal game starts now with a five-point clue. Nicholas Sarwark, the chair of its national committee, recently said, Our party believes in the idea that you have the right to pursue happiness in any way you wish, as long as it doesn't hurt people or take their stuff. Name this political third party. Chris from Merrillville. Libertarian. That's correct. Libertarianism or the Libertarian Party. Five points for the Pirates. You're on the board first. Here's another five-point clue. 231 cubic inches and 8.345 pounds are both equal to one of what unit of volume that also equals 3.785 liters and 16 cups and is used to measure quantities... Paul from Andrean. One gallon. Correct. Gallon used for quantities of milk and gasoline as well as other products. Andrean, you're on the board. We are tied at five. Ancient observers thought this planet to be two different stars because it could be seen in both the morning and the evening. Name this planet between Earth and Mercury. Paul from Andrean. Venus. Venus is correct. Five more for the Niners. Here's your next clue. Suspicion now exists that this ailment may be transferable through grafts of the brain's dura matter. Identify this form of dementia. Na Catherine from Andrean. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is correct. That disease named for the German doctor who first described its sufferers in the early 1900s. Well done, Andrean, and you lead. Here's your next five-point clue. What Asian country's Great Burkhan Khaldun Mountain, located where the Central Asian Steppe meets the Coniferous Forests of the Siberian Taiga is thought to be near Genghis Khan's burial place. Catherine from Andrean. Mongolia. Mongolia is correct. Five more for the Niners, and you extend your lead. What figure of speech is used in the sentence, the sun smiled on him as if it were Tom from Andrean? Personification. Personification is correct, as if it were an old friend, giving personal qualities to something inanimate. Well done, Andrean. Five more. Clue coming your way here. It recently defaulted on a bond payment for the first time since the U.S. took it over in 1898. Name this island officially a commonwealth whose inhabitants are U.S. citizens. Tom from Andrean. 
Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, the capital is San Juan. That's correct. Five more for Andrean, and you're up to 30. Here's another clue. Give the past participle of the verb swim. Catherine from Andrean. Swam. It is not swam. Merrillville? Joel. Swum. Swum. Yes. Sorry, Catherine. Close, but 5-4 Merrillville, and you're back on the board. You trail by 20. Name the president of the late 1940s who used the results of the Manhattan Project to drop atomic bombs on Hiroshima. Paul from Andrean. Truman. Harry S. Truman. Yes, five points for the Niners. And you cap off the round with a 25-point lead. More points coming up in the game, but we'll pause the contest to get to meet our contestants. I'm on the Maryville side and I'm talking to Kayla, who's a senior, and you, you indicated that you really enjoyed Lord of the Rings. Now, were you right. talking the books or the movies? Uh, I read the book before I seen the movies, Okay. but I really enjoy both. And you like them both. It's and the movies story. didn't disappoint you when you read the book? Mm -mm. All right, well, that's good. good to know. And that's a rare thing these yeah. days, right? Kayla, nice job uh, so far in the game. Chris, a senior at Merrillville, and uh, you listed your favorite movies as these three. We know that you're a, a film buff, right? You enjoy all the, all the things involved. Zootopia and Schindler's List and Don't Breathe. Now, those are really <laughs> different movies, which shows me that you're well-rounded as a film appreciator, I would say. Yes, very much so. That's good. Well, good. Well, so you want to you pursue film in the future, then? Yes, I want to be a director when I get, old, when I get a bit older. I'm going to yeah. be going to... Uh, school for it. Right, and sometimes I just really like a dumb comedy. <laughs> yeah. Just something mindlessly Obviously. dumb. <laughs> right, so maybe you can make all sorts of movies for us, Chris. Thank you. Joel, a senior at Maryville High School, and uh, you enjoy the book series called The Dresden Files. Tell me a little bit about that series. Oh, boy. Okay, so this was recommended to me by a friend earlier in the year, and I've been unable to put it down. It is the yeah. most geeky thing you could ever think of. It is about a wizard detective okay. who solves supernatural crimes in yeah. Chicago. And hey. You gotta like, like what you like. Doesn't matter what absolutely. anybody says about it. There's That's like awesome. sixteen books, and I finished like fourteen of them in like six months. That's it's awesome. terrible. It's an addiction. No, that is really good. <laughs> Joel, you keep reading. Don't let anybody stop you. Morgan, a senior at Maryville High School, and you're a member of the Chick Fil A Leader Academy, right? Yes. And student government. Tell yes. me a little bit about the the Leader Academy. What, what what's involved in that? Um, so it's a civic um, service club, and we basically give back to the community and make a positive impact. Sure. Well, good. And student government, so you're going to be active in leadership your entire life. Yes, I'm a secretary of our class, and awesome. I plan to continue that good. in college. All right. Well, very good. Good luck the rest of the way to the Maryville team. They are coached by Melissa Sickinger. I am talking to Andrean Jr. Paul, who plays the guitar. Yes. How long have you played the guitar? Uh, I've been playing the guitar for, I think, Nine years at this point, I lost track. Okay, and what uh, what do you want to do? You want to, be, you want to play in a band, or you just like doing it solo? Probably not. I I picked it up as a hobby, and as time has gone on, I I haven't been able to play it as much, but I still enjoy it whenever awesome. I get the chance to. Very good, Paul. Great to see you again. Danielle is a senior, and uh, your favorite book is Perks of Being a Wallflower, which I also really enjoyed that yeah. one um, when I read that one when I was in high school as well. What what about that book speaks to you? Um, I just I think that it's really real. I think that it portrays high school students in a way that isn't ex as superficial as mm. a lot of uh, young adult novels often are. Good, great, great perspective, Danielle. Tom is a sophomore at Andrean High School, and you, you wrote down something interesting about you that you're left-handed. Now, there's lots yeah. of left-handed people, but tell me a little yeah. bit about the struggles of being <laughs> left-handed. Like today, are you having a hard time next to Catherine? I mean, not really, but just one of the major things is that no one knows that you're left-handed, and so you're in the middle of classes. Oh, I didn't know you're left-handed. It's I've known these people for years, and they only just now notice that it's I'm left-handed. That's all right. Yeah, well, that's, it's good. You just have that's, to pay more that's for the struggle. Problems. That's yeah. like the biggest struggle. Yeah, I actually play right. I got a, a really? set from a neighbor, I think. No yeah. kidding. And you just Only sport. Yeah. That's awesome. Catherine is a junior at Andrean, and you're into reading, mm -hmm. drawing, and photography. So now I know you've got other career plans, but yes. what of those hobbies do you think might have the most staying power? You might want to just keep doing the rest of your life. Um, well, I guess maybe photography. Um, I'm editor of the yearbook, so I do a lot of the photography for school, which I kind of, I got a camera two years ago for Christmas, so I, I kind of branched out from sports photography to, you know, classes and maybe just stuff outside, so I think that's really fun. Great, Catherine, good to meet you, and glad that uh, the Andrean team is uh, enjoying themselves here. Good to see you guys. They are coached by, woo, Jacob Knazer. I can't read my own writing. There we go, Jacob Knazer. Sorry about that. All right, we continue on in our game with our, third, our partner, our second round called Pop Quiz. 
This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. No conferring with teammates here. It'll be one-on-one. -on -one. Catherine and Morgan, Joel and Tom, Danielle and Chris, Kayla and Paul, and then we'll just cycle it back around. All right, here we go. Still five points for each correct response. First clue for Catherine and Morgan. One theory of her birth is that her father's head was split open by her brother. Catherine from Andrean. Athena. Athena is correct. I got like a third of the way into that, and you guys were both on it. Catherine, five points for Andrean. Well done. Tom and Joel, this one is for you. During the winter, tourists can take a tour of its Scotty's Castle. Identify this national park in eastern California that has recorded some of America's highest temperatures ever. Tom from Andrean. Death Valley. Death Valley National Park is correct. Andrean with five more points, and you extend your lead to 35. Danielle and Chris, this is for you. What Dr. Seuss character is a big-hearted moose who lets other animals live on his antlers? <laughs> Fidwick. I hadn't read that one either. I it was just as surprised as you guys. All right. That's, that was a left turn for sure. <laughs> Paul and Kayla, this one is for you. Give the term defined by the American Psychological Association as an unlearned response elicited by specific stimuli that have biological relevance on an organism. Paul from Andrean. Instincts? Uh, incorrect. Kayla? <laughs> she says, no, thank you. Reflex, looking for reflex. Got a lot of O's, that was good, that's good. <laughs> Catherine and Morgan, this one is for you. When a, uh, when a light beam traveling through the air hits a glass surface, the light refracts or does what as it travels? Catherine from Andrean. It bends. It bends, that is correct, as it travels through the glass. Five more for the Niners, you're up to 50. Tom and Joel, for you. Its website counts the Velazquez painting Las Maninas among its masterpieces. Name this art museum with works by El Greco, as well as an entrance named for the Spanish painter Goya, where visitors come inside its building in downtown Madrid. That's all right. Museo, or Museo Nacional del Prado. I mean, we really jumped up in level on that question. <laughs> Dan Danielle and Chris, this is for you. All right. The Mayo Clinic includes daydreaming and forgetfulness among its common symptoms for both boys and girls. Name this mental condition often treated with drugs like Ritalin. Chris from Merrillville. ADAD or ADHD. That is correct, or ADHD, attention deficit disorder. Five points for Merrillville to cap off the round, and you trail after two rounds of play, 50 to 15. But there's plenty of points coming your way here in our next round that we call Class Project. It's teamwork if you want it to be. You may want to work solo to keep it quick. I will read three clues that all lead toward the same answer. If you answer correctly after one clue, it's worth 30 points. 20 points if I read two clues, and 10 points if I read all three of those clues. Both teams have a shot at each level of clue. Here's your first three clues that all point to one answer. The category is social studies. Here's your 30-pointer. The second of these two battles got Union General John Pope reassigned. Catherine from Andrean. Manassas Creek. Can we take that? I think so, you're right. That's right, Battles of Bull Run, also known as Manassas. Yes, 30 points for Andrean, and a big 30 right there. You catapult up to 80 points. Many more points coming, though, in this round. New set of three clues. Here's your 30-pointer, the category Literature and Language Arts. In myth, this daughter of Jupiter refused the advances of the Roman war god Ares. Catherine from Andrean. Venus. It is not Venus. Maryville. Chris. Mercury. Not Mercury. I will continue reading with a second clue for, for 20 points. When Arachne claimed to weave better. Catherine from Andrean. Minerva. Minerva is correct. 20 points. I don't know how you got it. Better than this goddess. She won a contest with Arachne and then turned her into a spider. That makes sense. 20 more for the Niners. You're up to 100. All right. A new set of three clues. The category is science and math. Here's your 30-pointer. This type of rock can be formed by the regional method that involves heat from colliding tectonic plates. Chris from Merrillville. Igneous. Not igneous. Andrean. Tom. Metamorphic. Metamorphic rock is correct. 30 more points for the Niners, and you jump to 130. That will do it for our third round of play.
But there's tons of points coming your way in the last round, Andrean, with that 130 to 15 lead. But Maryville, you've played the game before. You know you can make it up pretty quickly in our final round that we call Final Exam. Six categories, five questions in each with 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points respectively. We'll answer the questions in that order. The team that controls the board is the one that answered correctly last, except for this first choice, which will go to Maryville because you trail in the game. So, Maryville, which 10-point clue would you like to start with? Countries. Countries. Countries, a 10-point clue in that category. In 1979, the Soviet Union invaded this Middle Eastern country, causing Jimmy Carter to boycott the 1980 Moscow Olympics. Joel from Merrillville. Afghanistan? Afghanistan is correct for 10 for the Pirates. You're back on the board and you control the board. Countries for 15. Countries for 15. You've played the game. In the 19th century, this landlocked South American country fought wars with its neighbors, Bolivia, Argentina, and Brazil. Catherine from Andrean. Venezuela? Not Venezuela. Merrillville. Chris. Uh, Colombia? Not Colombia. We were looking for Paraguay. Paraguay. Merrillville, you're bored. You can stay with countries for 20 or go somewhere else. Countries for 20. 20 in countries. In 2016, this Asian country's Supreme Court announced that from now on, all moviegoers there must stand while the national anthem is played before the movie starts. Morgan from Merrillville. North Korea. Uh, not North Korea. Andrean, Catherine. China? It is not China. We were looking for India. India. I did not know that. All right. Merrillville, 25 there or go somewhere else? 25. 25, 25 in countries. In 1956, the Soviet Union invaded this Iron Curtain country to squash a two-week rebellion there. Paul from Andrean. Hungary? Hungary is correct for 25 more for the Niners. You're up to 155 and you control the board. We can stay with countries and finish it or go somewhere else. U.S. history? U.S. history. A 10-point clue in that category. This founding father wrote a book called Poor Richard Improved. Paul from Andrean. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin is correct for 10 points for the Niners. You're aboard. Starts with C. Yeah. Starts with C. Starts with C, a 10-point clue there. This substance added to Mountain Dew, Pepsi, and Coke both keeps you awake. Tom from Andrean. Caffeine. Caffeine and an addiction to it. It's correct. 10 for Andrean. You can chill the board. What would you like Starts to do? Starts with C, please. Starts with C. 15 there. An ethical psychologist always tried to, tries to avoid this three-word situation where helping one person may hurt another person the psychologist is treating. Danielle from Andrean. Conflict of interest. Yes, conflict of interest for 15 is correct. Andrean, well done. You're up to 190. Uh, science, please. Science. We're going there. Ten points in a fresh category. German astronomer Johannes Kepler found that all planets have an orbit that is not circular. Paul from Andrean. Elliptical. Elliptical is correct. Oval or ellipse. Ten points for Andrean. Your board. Uh, science, please. Science. Fifteen there. Scientists studying one brown dwarf star have found that its very hot clouds contain liquid drops of this metal used in steel making and for its magnetic purposes. Properties, pardon, Paul. Iron. Iron is correct, abbreviated F-E. 15 points for Andrean, and you control. U.S. history, please. U.S. history, 15 there. This nurse served as the first president of the American Red Cross. Tom from Andrean. Clara Barton. Clara Barton is correct, 15 more for the Niners. You're up to 230. Uh, starts with C, please. Starts with C, 20 points there. This term is a substance made of at least two elements that combine together chemically. Compound. Chris from Merrillville. Compound. Compound, yes. 20 points for the Pirates. 45 for you. What would you like to do? Uh, go back to countries. Countries. A 30-point clue will end the category. Since 1990, this Arab nation's north and south areas have been combined into one country that has become a haven for terrorists where the Red Sea meets the Gulf of Aden. Paul from Andrean. Saudi Arabia? Not Saudi Arabia. Merrillville? Chris? Uh, Afghanistan? Not Afghanistan. We're looking for Yemen. Yemen, north and south regions there. Okay, Merrillville, you control the board. That category is finished. What would you like to do? Uh, starts with C. Starts with C, 25. This adjective from criminal law describes two jail sentences that run one after the other. Catherine from Andrean. Consecutive. Consecutive sentences for 25 for Andrean. Well done. 255. What would you like to do? U.S. history, please. U.S. history. 
a 20-point clue there. After being fired by Harry Truman in 1951, this general described his coming... Catherine from Andrean. MacArthur. That's correct. General Douglas MacArthur, 20 points for the Niners. A commanding lead, you're at 275. Science, please. Science, 20 points there. The red list is an annual worldwide list of all plant and animal species that have this status. Catherine from Andrean. Endangered. That is correct, an endangered species. 20 points for Andrean. 295, you control. Literature, uh, literature please. Literature, 10 points there. The novel Otto of the Silver Hand is set in this European country during the Dark Ages, where Otto lives in Castle Drachenhausen. Catherine from Andrean. Germany? Germany is correct. You can tell by my great German pronunciation there. And I paused to have to pronounce it. Yes, 10 points for Andrean. What would you like to do? Literature, please. All right, literature, 15 there. The Wilson Rawls characters, Little Amy and Old Dan, and the James Barry character, Nana, are this kind of animal along with Sounder, Old Yeller, Lassie, Paul from Andrean. A dog. They're all dogs, 15 points for the Niners. What would you like to do? I said color. Art, please. Art, 10 points. Americans Roy Lichtenstein and Norman Rockwell specialized in this kind of art that needs a palette to mix color, a canvas to put the color on, and an easel to hold the canvas up. Paul from Andrean. Painting. Painting, simple enough. <laughs> I heard eight buzzers. Eight buzzers there, and Paul was the first. That's right. Ten points for the Niners. What would you like to do? Science. Science, uh, science please. Science. All right. A 25-point clue there. This math adjective for any non-prime integer also describes a material that is different from an alloy because its ingredients are not all metallic. Composite. Love the collective size. That's <laughs> oh, Andrean, you can round out science or go somewhere else. Uh, U.S. history, please. U.S. history, 25 there. This group of people in Louisiana are descendants of immigrants from Canada's Nova Scotia province. Morgan from Merrillville. Creole. Uh, incorrect. Andrean? You're on the right track. We're looking for Cajuns, specifically Cajuns. Andrean? Science, please. Science, 30. Three minutes to go in the game. This physician was pardoned in 1869 for setting the broken leg of Lincoln's assassin, John Wilkes Booth. Dr. Samuel Mudd. And that's why it's a 30 pointer. All right, Andrean. Uh, U.S. History, please. Uh, we are done there, I believe. It says 30 on the board, but I just read the 30 clue. So, no, that's okay. It's, I see uh, what you're looking starts at. With, starts with C, please. Starts with C. A 30-point clue is there. That's correct. This set of poets got its name for their support of England's King Charles I during the English Civil War. Catherine from Andrean. The Loyalists? Incorrect. Merrillville, Morgan. Royalist. Incorrect. Looking for cavalier poets. Cavalier poets. <laughs> Starts with C. Starts with C. That's all right. Hey, don't worry about it. The bright lights, the cameras, that's okay. Andrean. Literature, please. Literature. 20 there. This novel by James Baldwin shares its name with a Christmas song exhorting people to say over the hills and everywhere that Jesus Christ is born. Tom from Andrean. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain is correct. 20 more for the Niners. Literature. Literature. Sorry. That's all right. 25-point clue there. This best-known novel by S.E. Hinton tells about the... Catherine from Andrean. The Outsiders. Outsiders. Pony Boy Curtis and the Greaser Friends. That's correct. Andrean. 25 there. What would you like to do? It's literature. 30 in literature. This title character of a Percy Shelley sonnet has a statue whose pedestal gives his name, calls him King of Kings, and invites the world to look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Ozamandias. Ozamandias. All right, new category, Andrea. Art. 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 <laughs> That's the only one. I guess I should have seen that. All right. Uh, Dada artist Mar Marcel Duchamp added a mustache to this well-known painting, but not on its original copy. Chris from Merrillville. The Mona Lisa? That's right, the Mona Lisa. Da da, that's interesting. 15 for Merrillville, you control the board. Art. We're staying with art. <laughs> Should have known that, looking up there, all right. The woman in this 1930 painting on its artist's sister, Nan, while its artist, 
pardon, the woman in the 1930 painting on its artist sister, Nan, while its artist dentist, Byron McKeeby, is the model for the man holding a pitchfork in his right hand. Chris from Merrillville. American Gothic. American Gothic is correct for 20. Pardon my fighting through that. Here's your art clue in, uh, for 25. The Philadelphia Museum, dedicated to the work of this sculptor of the thinker, calls itself Paris on the Parkway. August Rodin, August Rodin, all right. Hey, that's all right. Hey, a great game played by both teams and a great run here in the tournament for both squads. But Andrean is moving on to our semifinals with a score of 375, 280. We will see you next time on Making the Grade. Program support comes from NIPSCO. Honey, who is this guy? Oh, that's Frank. Hey, Frank. <laughs> Honey, why is Frank in our bedroom? He's showing us ways to save money. Plus, he'll even help us install LED bulbs and new shower heads. Oh, well, he is leaving before I shower, though, right? To schedule an energy assessment and learn more about energy usage, visit nipsco.com. Frank, could you hand me a towel? Lakeshore Public Media and Making the Grade are supported by Chick-fil-A proudly serving our Northwest Indiana community, helping to support education and developing young minds. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, located in Merrillville, in front of the Southlake Mall.